Okay, hey classroom teachers or math teachers, I wanted to show you how to move a student up and imagine math. So say they finish their fourth grade pathway and you need to move them to fifth grade pathway. You guys can do this from your teacher account in Imagine Math. So you log in and then you go to management and then you go to classrooms and then you find the classroom that you're looking for. And you probably won't see all of this. You may only have maybe three classes um, show up on yours, but you find the one that you want and then you click on current students. You're going to find the student that you're looking for that you want to move them up a pathway because they've finished. This person has finished all 72 lessons in Imagine Math for fourth grade. So I'm going to click their name and I'm going to assign a pathway. And to make it easier, I'm just going to pick fifth grade. I know he's in fourth grade, so we're going to pick fifth grade because that's where we want to move him up. And I want to put him in the Texas fifth pathway. And I need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and put enroll. So now when he logs in, he should be starting brand new. It says that he was enrolled. He's queued for the Texas five pathway. It may not show up tomorrow, but we can check and see if it showed up for him today. But that's how you can move a student up. You can also pick a specific pathway for them if you're you're like this kid is really having trouble with um, a certain teak or objective that you're teaching, you can go in and assign them different um, pathways for them to kind of review on. And so then it, they would have a drop down menu when they log into math and they could pick which one and you just need to let them know you need a little more practice on this. So we're going to work on base 10. Um, hopefully this helps you guys when you're moving the kids up in their pathways.